This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? Yeah, so people in the Sonic community still still keep blaming Ian Flynn for what's going on, even though he does not have full creative control over all the Sonic the Hedgehog characters like people make it out to be. Even former writers Pontech and Graf already confirmed in an article at a Sonic Stadium not too long ago that they had to follow laws here and there by Sonic Team. You know, Sega, Sega of Japan monitor and supervise everything that happens. So even if Ian Flynn does have any creative ideas that are beyond his restrictions, he would have to get it authorized by his superiors. And most of the time, they turn down his ideas, as I stated in a take not too long ago. Yeah, so basically, uh, Katie Mini Kitty, obviously, uh, their ambassador just noted that it's worth noting, while Ian was the primary writer, that doesn't mean that it all went unchecked. The lore team in Sega of Japan collaborated on the project. Things were tweaked until everybody was happy. Putting all of our names there would undermine how much Ian did. So it just wasn't our role. Basically, Katie is implying that, yes, I'm in Sonic Team of Japan. You know, we're in charge of this project. Ian Flynn, of course, he did do a lot of the rewrites, this and that, but he also was monitored the entire time. So a lot of the cutscene changes that happened that made perfect sense, that was all Ian Flynn. But at the same time, he had to get it authorized by Sega of Japan. Yeah, so if anybody's wondering who had the final say, Sonic Team. They're the ones who control the narrative. They have always have. They always will. They're the ones who wanted to make that cutscene change uh, in the birthday scene. And you know which one I'm talking about. Where Sonic disrespectfully put his hand on Amy Rose's face like that. And they changed it to this one right here where she's handing out cupcakes. And it's on Amy Colors nonetheless. That was obviously 100% Sonic Team of Japan's doing right there. It's just the way it is, people. I understand a lot of people are complaining this and that. That, you know, you, you may not like the rewrites. That's understandable. But at the end of the day, the whole purpose of the game is just the gameplay. Why focus on 20 minutes worth of dialogues? I know a lot of you are going to basically complain about the redub lines here and there, especially for Knuckles and a lot of other side characters. Does it really matter? Like, just enjoy the gameplay. I mean, look at Shadow's campaign. The storytelling is amazing in that game. And yes, I'll get the review on Sonic uh, X Shadow Generations tomorrow. Yeah, let me know what you all think. And I gotta go. Peace out.